All right, what's up guys? Welcome to Xenon Racer. I did just record this, but I accidentally uh, deleted my audio, so I'm gonna have to re-record it right now. But I only did like uh, 17 minutes or so, um, but it, it was a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. I had done a couple races before that as well. It's kind of like a uh, Ridge Racer Wipeout type game. Uh, it's kind of like the game I played recently, which was Grip as well. But we're going to start off a Xenon Racing Championship. I'm just going to do like a one-time video. This is going to be like a Let's Play video. If people do want to see more, let me know in the comments that you want to see it as a full series. Uh, drop a like on the video. That's the best way to let me know and to share it around so other people can see it. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like those games that I played before, like Wipeout and uh, Grip, except it kind of has more of a focus on drifting. Uh, you can't really go around the turns without drifting. Uh, so it, it, you'll see here when we're playing, I'll show you what I mean. You have to tap L2 as you go around the corner and kind of drift into it. And then it has this ERS system as well. Uh, but overall, we're going to jump into the career mode. I'm going to play a cutscene right now, which was at the start of the video. I still have the footage, so I'm going to play that. And then we're going to get into this uh, WGT, which is uh, three races, as you can see there on the left. Welcome. In the year 2029, the World Prototype League WPL announced to all the manufacturers that 2031 will be the year in which the first championship for magnetic levitation cars will start. In the year 2030, the most famous manufacturers coming from every corner of the planet organized an unofficial championship to evolve the technologies of the next future races. Their purpose is to test the new Energy Recovery Systems, ERS, the Artificial Intelligence for Vehicles Dynamic Setup Change. The Xenon Racing Championship is about to begin. Choose a team, start running, and win to discover the motorsport of tomorrow. The future starts here and starts now. I can see sparks flying. All right, here we go. Race. We'll Let's do it. Tracks of fire. Downtown Tokyo, baby. Tokyo. But yeah, I might make in this into a series. I'm not sure yet. But for now, as I said, this is just kind of a one-part uh, Let's Play video. And we'll see where we go from there. But you'll see now you have to tap L2 as you go into the corner scene. You drift around it. And then as you do that, uh, you get this ERA, ERS thing that they were talking about in that cutscene. Um, which is basically just Nitro. Oh, whoa. Eh, that's what I mean about turning into a corner normally is pretty hard. You kind of have to drift into everything. Right. We got it. Everybody stay calm. There you go, see? That's a little bit better. And then kind of... I think Nitro coming out of the corners is the way to go for sure. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Much better there now. We had a little bit of a shoddy start, but that's more like it there. Boom. And visually and aesthetically, it does kind of feel like the Wipeout Omega Collection. Uh, it's like, it's set in 2030, so it's kind of Basically just a less futuristic version of Wipeout, I feel like. System just reloaded. That's how I kind of feel anyway, like looking at it visually. I'm not talking about like gameplay-wise, but like just visually looking at the environments and stuff and the tracks and the cars. Just feels like a little bit less uh, futuristic version of Wipeout. Which is not a bad thing by any means. Nothing will ever live up to Wipeout in my opinion though. Oh, I pressed circle to handbrake instead of goddamn. <laughs> I didn't mean to use it as a boost. That's my bad. Tiavez, the what the hell is he doing? He literally just crashed into the wall. I was following him and he just crashes into the wall. That guy's nuts. ERS accumulator has been recharged. As of now. Give me that, baby. The vehicle is highly damaged. Oh crap, I didn't even realize our vehicle was highly damaged. Yikes. We're at 11. 
we can't afford any crashes that down the bottom left as you can see there guys that's the damage to your car like if that goes to zero your car uh, you total your car and basically uh, you just lose a few seconds nothing like too drastic happens but you just lose a few seconds and it will reset your car on the track so we can't afford any more crashes i think one more big crash and we're pretty much screwed here good thing we're not going to make one I'm gonna get to the end without crashing baby and that's gonna be a victory for sure Woo! wait what i thought that was the final lap shit i'm an idiot Dude, I thought that was the final. I thought that was lap three. Never mind. We're definitely going to have to reset our car at some point. Unless we can go the rest of the goddamn thing without... I just... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I can't... i done the exact same thing as the last race. Right there. I pressed circle to handbrake instead of goddamn X. Getting confused with the controls here. I don't know why I'd be pressing X anyway, because I was never using the handbrake, really. I was only using the boost. I think we're coming third now, guys. I think we're coming third, unfortunately. Come on! Give me that! They're so far ahead, dude. Nice. Damn it. Got myself stuck against the wall there. And we're gonna come third. Not the end of the world, but not the ideal start we were looking for. I came second in the, the first time I'd done That's that. It. So, a little bit of a... A fall from grace, but nothing too uh, too spectacular, really. That's a score. Hmm. Okay. Not the best start in the world, as I said, but could be a lot worse. We're gonna win the next two for sure. When I had uh, done that race in the first time I was recording it, the first guy beat me by like 18 seconds, and I didn't even race badly either. I raced quite well, so the first guy, I'm pretty sure, is on steroids. But right there, it was pretty close. And we're definitely going to win this one. Let's go. Let's go. Not the best start, but... Oh, what the? I didn't hit that, did I? I was about to say not the best start, but we're about to take the lead anyway, but... Not quite, considering we just crashed off nothing. I feel like I didn't even hit that. Just got a bit of boost in time. We damaged our car quite significantly there, though. It's down to 63 already. Which is not good. Because as you can see, when you, do, uh, when you do crash, you lose a lot of time when you total your car. You do lose quite quite a significant portion of time a couple of seconds at least which is obviously pretty big in a close race damn it two laps to go lap number one has been completed we need to get ourselves some boost here, though. We must have lost time there because we didn't have any boost for the whole straight. Better. Better, better, better. Just reloaded. Much better, baby. Alright, once we get around this corner here, I'm about to pop this ERS system all the way down this straight here. Oh, that 
That's much better now. Now we're getting the hang of it. And we're absolutely miles ahead as well, lads. So I don't think anyone's coming close to catching Final us today. Lap. Final lap. Trying to get a little bit of extra drift out of some of those corners. Oh, yikes. They do have to really be crashing a lot to tow your car. Like we did in the first race. Give me that boost. Over 320? It was close at least. Think we had a boost there. We're good. Everybody stay calm. Oh, look at that drift, baby. Let's go. We don't have a boost is the only problem. I don't know if we're going to be able to get one. Someone better not overtake me on this last, this last goddamn straight. I swear to God, I'll be triggered. I think I'll just get one here. Yes. And that should do it. That should be the victory. And it is. The winner is. The winner is me. It looks good though. Like for the style that they're going for. The game definitely looks good. Feels good. Plays good. And it's a, it's a fun little kind of indie title, I must say. Fair play. Because I don't think this has like huge production value, but it's definitely... It's a good looking game and it plays well for... For the size it is, I'm not sure how much it is actually. It comes out, by the way, on March 26th. Uh, so that's in 20 days from today. I'm recording this super early. The, the team gave me the a review code. By the way, that's how I'm playing right the now. They gave me a review code. Up. There's no embargo on the footage. So uh, I can bring as much footage as I want right now. But um, for now, I'm just going to leave it as this one Let's Play. And if people do want to see more, that's when I will decide to bring more or not. But yeah, I just thought I'd, um, thought I'd mention that because... Uh, the team is super generous. We're giving the codes out this early. And uh, I appreciate it. They're super nice as well. Super nice people on the BOR team. So shout out to them. Now we're getting the swing of it, baby. Just needed that little bit of practice to start off. We're already 2,000 meters ahead. We haven't even completed the first lap yet. This is beast mode right now. Absolute beast mode, boys. The IRS accumulator has been recharged. Oh, we just got away with that. Around the corner while I'm drifting using boost. Oh, I'm a savage. No. Oh, he's going to get away with that. Oh, I don't even have a boost. Doesn't matter. We don't need one. We're miles ahead of the next best thing. Absolutely miles. No one in sight, that easy. and that was easy. It was beautifully done, I must say. Cool. Very enjoyable, I must say. And that's the first championship pretty much done. It shows us crashing there for some reason. Uh, but yeah, I think that's like the first championship done. That's a score. And that is the times right there. 11 seconds was the best they could do, and that was only a two-minute race as well. <laughs> so, so um... <laughs> pretty bad on their parts come on guys keep up with the king keep up with king apex it's kind of embarrassing honestly so yeah let me know what you think of the game in the comments as well i'd be super interested to see all of your guys opinions and um, do you think it's kind of like wipeout or no it's completely separate i'd be interested to see i think it's kind of similar in certain ways definitely visually uh, but this is where we've now unlocked the wgte so as you can see in the garage 
and we have this car but for the next race we have to use a car with really bad handling and um, so that's going to be a lot tougher this is the car we have to use as you can see the handling is a lot worse but the max speed is a lot higher so it's going to be harder to control and faster which is going to make it harder in control to control anyway and with the handling being that low this should be a tough one but i think i'm going to leave that for now guys this is going to be the end of part number one and uh, maybe there will be a part number two i'm not sure uh, that's up to you guys if it hits like 100 likes, I'll do a part two, make it into a full series maybe, we'll see. There's a lot of races, by the way, as you can see in the championship. Let me just go back down here for a second. There's a lot of races, like look, there's low and high, and all the way until the end here, there's so many different ways you can do it, like down, look at all these races. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There's a shit ton of them, right? So, uh, it's, it's quite fun, I must say, and... I'm excited to maybe play more of this. Uh, it depends on you guys. I'm going to play more regardless, but we'll see if I put more on the channel. That's up to you. WGTE, uh, let me know if you want to see it. And I'll see you guys for more of Xenon Racer, hopefully in the very near future. Peace out.